Welcome back to Tassas with Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're gonna take a look at a beautiful short sleek bob, brand new by Henry Margu. Coming up. This brand new bob is called Tara by Henry Margu in the color 26GR. Tara is a stunning short little sleek contemporary bob style with some amazing cap features. So let's dig into this, but first I just wanna cover this color, this 26GR. It is a rooted color. The GR stands for gradient, so you will see that gradient root. And this blonde is a mixture of some kind of a medium gold blonde and a light gold blonde. I see some beige notes to it. I've seen some variability in the application of this color. This one seems to be more on the warm side. And just depending on how much of that really pale light blonde is in it, will determine you know how warm it comes across so this one is just a beautiful dimensional medium to light warm blonde with a medium brown root a lot of you out there really enjoy these short little sleek bob styles like this and i love that they've added this contemporary flair to them it just makes them all the more classy and salon fresh you're going to see about a seven and a half inch bang right there in the front this layering is absolutely exquisite. We've got a nine inch layer in the back and there's not a whole lot of layering here, but what you will notice that it is kind of a point cut, giving it that contemporary look. This is a classically designed bob style, but it does not have that big round look to it. So if you're looking for a bob style with a lot of volume and a big profile, this one isn't for you. But if you are looking for something with a little more sleek, a little more slim profile, you might want to check this one out. There's very little permatease. I'm not sensing any palpable permatease anywhere on this cap, okay? So you're not getting the ability to scrunch in any lift. But what you are getting is an extremely natural look. This is a very light density style. It has a feathery, wispy movement, which always makes it look really natural. I love how it frames the face. Uh, I think that's beautiful. Now, I did take it out of the box, gave it a shake, applied it, found my parting space, and then just used my fingers to kind of coax out a little bit of lift and then continued just to rake it back to keep it out and away from the face. Because we all know a short straight style like this is probably gonna crowd the face if you're looking down, okay? So if you have task work or if you're looking down a lot in your job, you may wanna use a square bands or some other clips to hold it out of the face. In close keeping with this beautiful light density, very natural appeal, this wig only weighs about three ounces. So limited permities, low profile, light density, a nice fine silky fiber. It's just as about as natural as you can get. So we have that extended lace front, full single monofilament top, open wefted sides and back. So let's get up close on the lace features. So we do have an extended lace front runs temple to temple and back into the ear tab. We're gonna take a look at this cap in just a moment. So you're gonna see the fine knotting there, which is consistent with the fine texture of this fiber. And what they do is they kind of knot every other hole or so within that monofilament gr lace grid, which also gives it a more natural look. One thing they did not do was bring the highlight of this color up to that lace front, which I think really helps soften the darker knots at the front. This does have a full single monofilament top. You can part it anywhere you want on the top. And I find that full monofilament tops <clears throat> are extremely natural looking. They allow for some variable parting, but you do have to train the root to go in the direction that you want to part your style. So if it's other than what it comes right out of the box, you may have to work at it a bit.
inside look at the cap for Henry Margu's Terra. There you see your extended lace front. It extends uh, halfway back through the ear tab, nicely contoured, nice fine knotting there. And then there is a seam that adjoins the single monofilament top. You can sense the light density. A closed velvet ear tab, very comfy. And a standard nape with Velcro style adjusters, lots of wefting and stretch. Now, Henry Margot typically fits me a little large. Tara feels more average than other Henry Margot wigs that I have explored. So I'm thinking that anywhere between 21 and a half and 22 and a half would be ideal circumference for this style. Glasses with ease with Henry Margot's Tara. Like I said, very little permatease, very low density. Glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab. A nice glasses friendly style in this one. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to bring you all of the free resources that help us so much in our wig shopping.